Hi, you guys. In this next video, I'm going to introduce you to Olive the Whippet. And she was very apprehensive about getting on a ramp or a wedge and very apprehensive about being put inside the car. We have practiced a lot before we shot this video, so she's much more experienced at it. But I'm going to show you the techniques I use to get her to understand she has to get in the car. Hi you guys, Alan Miller here and all of the Whippet is here with me. The first thing that I want you to um, consider when you're getting a dog to learn how to get into a car is using a collar that's nothing more than a safety collar called a martingale. These can come in a couple different configurations as you see here. And the second thing is setting up and deciding am I going to use a ramp to get my dog in the car? Am I going to use a wedge? Or am I just going to pick the dog up depending upon the size of the dog? But let's stay on topic. The first thing that I'm going to do is encourage her to get on this ramp using food. But if she knows this has something to do with something she's not going to like, she is probably not going to want to get on this. So it just starts with elevating it very slightly and getting her feet up there. You might have to actually hug and lift the dog up onto it. As you can see, she's apprehensive, but I want you to let her come back off. She doesn't have to stay on it very long. The same thing would apply to this wedge right here. Just gonna encourage her to put her feet on it. I'm gonna use food, but sometimes food's not going to be relevant when we start heading towards the car, especially if your dog's afraid of the car. Talking about a dog that doesn't wanna get into the car, we have to teach it that sometimes you just have to do it. A martingale collar or a safety collar is very important so that the dog can't back out of this equipment if I'm in the middle of working. Once I start this exercise, if I stop and back off because the dog's having a temper tantrum, it's only going to take longer to teach the dog to do it. I like to start with food, but as you see, some dogs, when they get into this situation, they don't care about food. So the second part is my hand is on the leash near the collar and I start applying a little bit of forward pressure. Now this dog's done this quite a few times so she's going to want to get in. But once I apply this upward pressure, I'm going to tap, I'm going to encourage, and sometimes I'm going to put my body way up in here but I'm going to keep it tight until she goes in, yay, and then I'm going to be a cheerleader. I'm going to repeat this over and over until the dog just starts scrambling in and understanding that she has to do it on a leash, then I'll start doing it off the leash later on. In this next part of the video, I'm going to show you a Malinois, Augustus, that is brand new to these folks, and they have had to carry it into the car from the moment that they adopted it. So it's been in the car maybe four, five times at the most, but they've never been able to get the dog in the car using the leash, they've always had to carry it in the car. So I'm gonna show you an alternative way of motivating the dog to get into the car, maybe not having to use the leash. We'll see how that goes in a minute. Second part of this video is going to be that we're gonna elevate one end of the ramp. And you can see he already doesn't have a problem with the footing or the ramp itself. If I were to make this too steep, or once again, if I put this on the back of the car, it's going to create a lot more stress than I want in the immediate future. So I just want him to be comfortable in coming up to the top of this ramp and maybe going back down or turning around on it or just coming off of it, sort of like it's a miniature car, if you will. And you can play around with doing this, going back and forth. I want you to also notice that I'm integrating using the leash to prompt him to not moving away from me. The leash is gonna be a super important component to getting him to trust that we can get him in and out of the car without us having to carry him or using other types of things. He wants to get the food off the ground. I'm just using this leash and collar to not allow him to do that, just because I want him to stay focused on what I'm doing. For dogs that have very high prey drive, ball drive, anything other than food, like this dog, we're going to use this toy to get him excited about going into the car, something that stresses him out. But we also need this, we also need this to be something that ends up being very positive. So we're gonna work on this right now. She's gonna play with the toy, encourage, and we're gonna get him to think positively about getting into the car. 
A lot of the products we demonstrate and use ourselves are linked in the description box below. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, that way you will get notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching.